Welcome to episode 70 of Poetic Philosophy. In this episode, there's going to be four podcast, four poems from my book, A Special Christmas Message. I have it published on Amazon as another title. I just reformatted that title and I'm waiting for Amazon to approve the formatting. So when that is um, when that is ready to be live, I will post it here at robertg.blogspot.com and robertgparent.blogspot.com. And I'll also post a link on my Twitter page at Podcast Bard. The four poems in this podcast is going to be about the Christmas elves. The first one is entitled The Christmas Elves. Second one, Behind the Stress. And the third one, Twas the Night of the Christmas Elves. It's a really nice one. And a really special one that it's probably my favorite poem in this book. It's called Grey Christmas. And it's about the most famous Christmas elf there is, Santa Claus, but before he became Santa Claus. I hope you enjoy this poem like I do. The Christmas Elves The gentle snow falls covering the earth in a crystallized blanket spreading its magic. What appears dead is full of life joy, love. Small little people are seen on the edges of reality. Small footprints in the snow, branches move on a windless night, gathering information for that special night, the darkest night of the year, the brightest love's light, seen within all life, the true treasure that awaits all. Behind the stress. The traffic builds up to hide the beautiful scene, to celebrate the moment of a truth that's genuine. Underneath it all are these little Christmas visitors, the wisdom and compassion that is so needed. Look behind the light that turns green and see what really happens. The Christmas visitors are there. The page that loads quickly are them as well. Who controls the golden lock? You don't need luck to guess. When you get all stressed that the gifts not get, look around the corners. If you see them, ask, can you help me? Then the Grinch thought of something he hadn't before. What if Christmas, he thought, doesn't come from a store? What if Christmas, perhaps, means a little bit more? That, of course, is by Dr. Seuss. Evil is that which pulls us backward in spiritual evolution, and good is that which pushes us forward. That quote is by J.J. Dewey, and for more quotes by J.J. Dewey, and for more of J.J. Dewey's writings, you can go over to his website at freeread.com. Dot com. Twas the night of the Christmas elves. As I walked down the street, the copper-colored light shone down on the empty streets and snow-filled yards. I see sparks of crystal light twinkling like Christmas lights and stopped by this yard for the wonderful show. While adults and children sleep in their warm beds, I enjoyed the show of lights and remembered that time long ago. Christmas morning, the lights on the tree, the colorful packages below, a colorful feast for the soul. The smell of pork pie, potatoes, and gravy, the joyful bliss of us children, the sound of Christmas songs, twas the moment of beauty. 
I came back to my scene when I heard rustling noises and saw small people quickly move from bush to bush. I had not felt fear, only a sense of love and joy. I thought to myself, yes, the Christmas elves. They had given me a gift that magical night tied two moments together and showed me nothing ends but only continues. I said in a soft voice of love, Thank you. The wind took my words to the Christmas elves and gave me reply of the show of lights. I felt joy and love as I continue my walk. Remember, it is always better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. Gray Christmas the copper lights shine down on this little boy as he walks the lonely, cold streets. He knows no joy. As he sits on the bench, pigeons, his only friends, unwraps the food found. He eats Christmas dinner with friends. He sits there around the dirty snow and dreams of a white Christmas. What will he be when he has grown? In that moment, the snow starts to fall. Sounds of joy fill the boy. Out of sight, the elves do come and show him joy's light, sheltering him from the cold night. The elves take him home to raise him as their own. No longer will he roam these cold, lonely streets. If you like this piece, you can check out more of my writings over at robertg.blogspot.com or if you want to purchase some of my books, you can go to robertgparent.blogspot.com There you'll find the links to my Amazon books. And as always, thank you for listening. Stay creative in the magic of life. Good day. The babelfish is small, yellow, leech-like, and probably the oddest thing in the universe. It feeds on brainwave energy, absorbing all unconscious frequencies and then excreting telepathically a matrix formed from the conscious frequencies and nerve signals picked up from the speech centers of the brain. The practical upshot of which is that if you stick one in your ear, you instantly understand anything said to you in any form of language.